Kim söyledi ya? We usually ignore our cousins. So you go ahead that bow, and I'll ask all of you to take your seat after that bow. But help me as we go through the service. This is an important occasion. Amen. Hallelujah. Then sings my soul. Chapter 4 and verse 13. How many of you are happy to be in church this morning? Praise the Lord. I'm talking about get ready, Jesus is coming. Amen. Get ready. The Lord Jesus is about to come. I know we've come to attend the wedding of our good friends, Emmanuel and Rosaria. 
but very few of us are thinking about the events that are taking place in our world today. And one of the events that is taking place is the marriage of Emmanuel and Rosaria. This which we witness today is a prophetic event. Amen. Christians, are you there? Amen. Uh, but you're too quiet on me. Only the Sunday school are resp responding to me. I said, this which we are witnessing today is a prophetic event. Amen. Because what Emmanuel and Rosaria are doing is a picture of the marriage feast of the Lamb that is coming in the future. In the future, as we are ruptured or we are called up to be with the Lord, the reading what the Bible calls the marriage feast of the Lamb, to which those that are called up and to be with the Lord are going to experience actually the real marriage
given. But this is the peace of God that does not start externally, but it starts internally. When people are born again and they receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians, uh, Thessalonians, and we are reading chapter 4, verse 13. Paul said, But I would not have you ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are dead or asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, so then also we which uh, also which live in, in Jesus will go bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word. 